Also breaking today, a 16 year old shot and killed in his home. Such a heartbreaking story. CMPD called to that home on O House Court in North Charlotte a little before six this morning. That 16 year old just identified as Javon Goolsby. Several neighbors tell us that they heard five or six rapid fire gunshots before police were able to get to that house. Police say they believe the shooting was not random, that the house was in fact targeted. No word if that 16 year old was the one being targeted or uh, or not. Maybe eight people were in the home at the time of the shooting. So at this point, we don't know who the target of this shooting was. But NBC Charlotte's Richard Devane, he has been live on the scene all morning long, Richard, since this happened. Um, just so heartbreaking, like I said. And, and now that we are learning that the house was in fact targeted, it really does change everything. Well, it doesn't change the fact that a 16 year old child is dead. I have a 16 year old myself and to to feel the anguish that people here were experiencing when they found out and came to this house is heartbreaking. Uh, and also listening to some of the folks who've been here from the family's church and other community members, they're saying that apparently, regardless of who they were shooting at in the house, that 16 year old was not the person they were targeting, which makes this even more tragic. Pain and anguish as family members rush to the scene after hearing the tragic news. A teenage boy shot inside a house in North Charlotte. I heard uh, six rounds go off. Boom, 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 boom. Police warned the Woodland subdivision looking for clues. The teen inside the house, 16 year old Javon Goolsby. We just, we heard gunshots and then we woke up and just saw someone running like a little kid. Barbara says her family members were inside when all of a sudden someone started shooting. When the shooting stopped, her nephew was dead. When I walked in the house, I heard the gunshots. I went to grab the, my little nephew so we could get on the floor. And my sister was upstairs, her and her daughter. And her daughter went in the room to check on her son. And, and, and she and I had blood on their hands, and, and he got hit in the head. We spoke with a co-worker of the teen's father who rushed him home to the tragic scene. I just got to work. He said somebody shot in his house, shot his son in the head. I told him, let's go. At this hour, police are working to determine who did this and why. <laughs> As family and friends continue to grieve and try to deal with the senseless tragedy. I don't know. We just don't know. My sister just lost her baby. Yeah, and as you were looking at some of the... Uh, evidence markers down shell casings were found in that location of some of the bullets that were fired into the house. We do know that members of the uh, family's church, the Kingdom Hall, have been here and that's where the father is going now to the church and then he's going down to the medical examiner for the uh, task of identifying his son's body. We'll have much more on this story throughout the day, but for now we're right here in North Charlotte. Richard Devane, NBC Charlotte. Oh, Richard, our heart definitely goes out to that family. Thanks so much.